What up everybody? You know who this is by now. Um, got a couple images to show you guys. This is an army vet right here, man. And uh, look at all the accomplishments he's done. And you know, he's given his life for this country. And, uh, and look what child support did to him, man. So he spent 27 months in Iraq. 2007 to 8 and then 2009 to 10 so he had two deployments then 12 months in Afghanistan 2011 to 2012 that's his third deployment one combat action badge there you go army achievement medals nice good conduct medals so he's an outstanding um, soldier with good behavior army recommend uh, army accommodation medals uh, DD214 honorable discharge to be with my kids. See, he want to be with his kids, man. And then, this is how they repay him. $140,600 paid in child support in eight years, three kids, $96,000 in arrear for child support, zero custody of his kids, and he's a disabled veteran. Man, how, how could they do them like this, man? Only, only satanic forces to come against a, a good man like this but you know the sad thing is he just lacks knowledge about the about the legal system and he could try to go to an attorney and the attorney ain't gonna help him so so we got to help people like this man it ain't, a, it ain't necessarily about the money it's about helping people so this is this is a good dude right here and the system is just you know is effing him over man and uh, I got this from a, an associate of mine, uh, who I'm, you know, who I'm gonna do business with. But this is another thing he sent me um, from Judge Judy. Now I've heard Judge Judy talk about how they demonize men, how the courts are sexist toward men, and they just want to get money out of them. So like, there's some kind of um, seal here, malicious mom and paternal. Um, alienation dynamics you are not alone uh, I can't read that work together it says something about work together okay something but I want to read this alright because this is Judge Judy everybody knows who Judge Judy is so American fathers are let down a, pre, a primrose path every day in our family courts, often with disastrous legal results. They wind up in the land of gender bias, where they are systematically stripped of their rights without, often without the slightest idea of why it is happening to them. If you think the mother-father disparity is outrageous, consider the sexual abuse syndrome and how it affects visitations and custody disputes. Here, the judicial impotence and chronic blindness to men's rights would appall you. Courts are supposed to approach cases of child support, support payments, and visit visitation rights in what we call a gender-neutral posture. It sounds fair, and it is fair, but it is a myth. Judges are not enforcing these gender laws fairly, and few seem to care. But first of all, judges can't sit in on child support cases. That's illegal. It was already said by the Supreme Court. So if they are sitting in on cases, you let them know that they shouldn't be. Um, we will see more of these problems until fathers organize to demand fair treatment. It ain't, I'm going to take it one step even further than that. Just don't contract with the motherfuckers. Don't give them no subject matter jurisdiction. I, I don't care about fair treatment at all. I'm just not going to deal with them. So forget the fair treatment. I'm just not going to deal with them. I'm a private citizen. I'm a state citizen and a U.S. national. Not a U.S. person and I'm not a U.S. citizen. So, and I'm not a federal employee under the Social Security number. So, but anyways, let's go on. So get it together, dads. You have a legitimate legal beef and you need to make this a public issue. Right now, the courts don't hear you. I mean, she's telling you what's wrong. That's just the symptom. But she's not saying what the cause is. The cause is a lot of dads are just ignorant. Just ig you're just ignorant. 
<laughs> you ignorant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ignorant of your rights. So, um, so first of all, treat yourself right. You know, it says fair treatment. Treat yourself right. Go get the knowledge you should be acquiring and fight these people, man. You know, or there's help out there, man. You know. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of help out there. You guys really need to do this for yourself. Even if, say, you came to me with your problem, um, you know, which I'm helping a couple people, but it's really up to you, man. And that's why if I write anything, you know, I got to talk to you. I got to see where your heart's at. Because if your heart ain't there, you, you're shaking in your boots and your panties falling off, then you need to get it together and get focused. You know, don't be a scattered, uh, don't be a scattered array of light. You know, put put that light through a, a, a magnifying glass and focus, and burn a hole in fucking child support, man. You got to focus, got to concentrate your power, man. You know, like Cyclops. You know, he takes off his glasses and just that that strong array of power just breaks through bricks, cars. You're that powerful. You know. But until you until you realize it, man, you're gonna be hearing messages from Judge Judy, and uh, you're gonna be oops, and you're gonna be raising signs like this. All right, you know this is a good dude. I I commend this guy, man. He put his life on the line for this country. But it, somebody in his family can't help him, man. You know what I'm saying? Get, go talk to his wife or something. You know, forget child support. Go talk to his wife or something. You know, these women, they're just evil, man. <laughs> I, had a, I had a talk with one of my mentors yesterday, man, about women. and I've had some bad relationships, probably like my last three or four girls I dated, man. So now I'm taking a break. Because these women, they get more crazy and crazy, man. I'm taking a break. A uh, much needed break to, you know to discover myself still, you know what I mean? So, still to God, still represent, I still show and prove, coast to coast, but it's really not about me, it's about us. It's about these people right here, right there. These demons, these satanic cherubims, you know? So, anyway, I'm not gonna make this video long, just wanted to let you guys know you know, we're a victim just like he is. I mean, I was a victim, you know. I'm still fighting them myself, so, you know. You know, power to the people, man. We got the power. We just, sometimes we just don't know that we have it. I mean, we're the people who created the Constitution. And the Constitution created government. But it got sourced and it emanated from the people. So, but anyway, I'm, I'm going to catch y'all later. All right, peace.